Hey, let's explore how page building is made easy with Prismic and our local builder, Slice Machine. We're going to have a look at the website for the Todo app startup, which you can see here. The marketing team that maintains this website is free to create unique pages using website sections as building blocks. We call these building blocks slices. You can see that this page is built using only a small number of slices. Each slice is created by defining a content model, coding the component, and adding live content. To add a new section to the website, I will select one of the pages in the Prismic UI and add an image of a happy user between two existing sections. For that, I'll just select the image slice in the editor and add the image. Let's preview this without publishing our page to make sure it looks good. That looks good to me, but the marketing team have told me, the dev, that they want to embed tweets, like this one, to show user feedback. Modern websites are built with composable website sections, making the creation process easy for the editors. Slice Machine is the easiest way for developers to build and ship those website sections. To add a new section, click the Create Slice button, give it a name, and click the Create button. After clicking the button to add a new slice, some files are created in the local project, which you can see here. This includes a JSON file for the slice model and a JavaScript file for the slice component. Once we edit the model here in the UI, the JSON file will be updated for us. Fields are the most elementary component of a Prisma custom type. Each field is designed to hold different data types to cover all use cases. Clicking Add a new field will show all the fields available for you to use. I'll select the embed field and click Save model to file system to update the JSON model. Not only does Slice Machine update the model for you, but it also suggests code already connected with the API ID that is used to query the field's content. You can then paste this code into the component file. Okay, that was easy, but it would be nice to see how this slice would actually look once it's populated with content. Well, luckily for us, Slice Machine generates mock data for our slices. This way, we don't need to wait for the marketing team to send us content before we can ship this slice to the page builder. Back in Slice Machine, clicking Preview Slice will combine the slice model, component, and mock data in your browser to allow you to iterate on your design. Okay, cool. We can see we're pulling the data correctly, but it's not very beautiful. I think we'll install the embed plugin as suggested in the code snippet comment. and we can refresh our simulation. Okay, that looks great. We're happy with that. So now let's add this slice to a custom type. Custom types are models for your documents, articles, blog posts, recipes, whatever collections of content that you need for your project. Before creating your custom type, make sure to take a screenshot of the embed slice so your authors know what they're adding to their pages. Within a custom type, we have a static zone which is for adding fields that will appear once per document, like a title or a URL. The slice zone is for grouping the slices we want to be available in this custom type. So let's connect our slice to this custom type and then send the model to Prismic for the marketing team to use. And remember to push your changes to GitHub so your live project will have the latest code. Now when the marketing team edits the homepage document, they will be able to use this new slice. Now we've linked our tweet we can preview the content and then hit publish so this new section will be sent to the live website through the API. There you go. That's the full Prismic publishing experience. I can't wait to see what you create. Thanks for watching.